Namaste everyone. Uh, here is a Wheatstone's network problem. Uh, the four arms of a Wheatstone's network, A, B, C, D, have the following resistances. A, B, B, C, C, D, D, A, everything is given. A galvanometer of resistance 10 ohm is connected between uh, B and D. Find the current through the galvanometer when the potential difference between A and C is 5 volt. We will uh, form a diagram um, uh, to represent all the resistances. So, you can start A, B, C, D anywhere, no problem. But you should follow the cyclic order. So, A and C, we will take it here. So, that easily we can connect the battery. So, battery is connected between A and C. this and a galvanometer here. AB is a 2 ohm, BC is 4 ohm, CD is a 4 ohm and uh, DA is 8 ohm. Okay. And the resistance of the galvanometer is 10 ohm. Of course, this bridge is not balanced because 2 by 4, 2 by 4 is not equal to 8 by 4. So, 2 by 4 is not equal to 8 by 4. So, or 8 by 2 is not equal to 4 by 4. So, bridge is unbalanced. Bridge is unbalanced. Bridge is not balanced. So, current to the galvanometer uh, um, is not zero. Some current flows to the galvanometer. So, how to find out the current to the galvanometer? Okay. Mm. So, we will assume all the current directions, first of all. So, let this be I1 here, I1, and let this be I2. Uh, let this I2 divide into Ig, one current here, and remaining I2 minus Ig here. I will apply the Khrushchev's current rule directly. So, I2 flows in 2 ohm and remaining out of I2 here, this is also I2, Ig flows here and the remaining I2 minus Ig flows here. Okay, here it is Ig. Ig adds along with the I1, I1 comes here and so this current is I1 plus Ig, I1 plus Ig. So, the same I1 plus Ig flows here also. And that I1 plus Ig adds with the I2 minus Ig. So, totally the current here will be. So, this is C. This is not direction of current. This is C. C is here. So, when I have current here. So, if you uh, try to add this I1 plus Ig. I will write it. Actually, it is not needed. I1 plus Ig. Um, and then I2 minus Ig plus I2 minus Ig. So, totally you will have I1 plus I2. So, um, I1, this uh, Ig, Ig gets cancelled. So, here you have I1 plus I2. So, that I1 plus I2 flows up to this and divides it into, uh, divides into I1 and I2. I1 plus I2. Okay. So, with minimum uh, variables, we have indicated all the currents. And uh, we have not gone for I3, I4 or something, uh, other uh, notations because we were able to put every current in the form of other uh, values. So, I can put this instead of taking I3, I can write this as I2 minus I3. So, that was possible. Okay. So, all the currents were uh, properly indi indicated. Now, we have to apply Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, applying KVL to 1 by 1 loop. It is not balanced. So, our question, uh, our uh, aim is to answer what is the potential difference between uh, A and C. Uh, sorry, uh, what is the, find the current to the galvanometer. Yes, Ig, we have to find out. Okay. Uh, first of all, we will see what is the uh, equation that we will get after applying uh, KVL to any loop you can choose. First of all, first of all, I will choose BCDB. So, apply KVL to BCDB. So, what I will get? Starting from B to C, I will get I2 minus Ig. So, it flows through 4 ohm. 
I2 minus Ig flows through 4 ohm. So, I4 into I2 minus Ig, that is in my direction. Then, when I come from C to D, I get I1 plus Ig in the opposite direction. So, minus of I1 plus Ig into 4 ohm, once again, minus of I1 plus Ig into 4 ohm. Then, when I go from uh, D to uh, B, D to B here, yeah, D to B, I get Ig in the opposite direction, minus 10 Ig. It flows to 10. Minus 10 Ig is equal to 0. So, I will try to write all the equations in the form I1, I2 and Ig. So, here is 4 I2. Here it is uh, only 4 I2 and minus 4 I1. So, minus 4 I1 minus 4, uh, plus 4 I2, minus 4 I1, plus 4 I2, and uh, this 4 Ig, minus 4 Ig, and uh, minus 4 Ig, it becomes minus 8 Ig, and again there is minus 10 Ig, so minus 4 Ig, minus 4 Ig, here, and minus 10 Ig, minus 18 Ig is equal to 0. I'll take it as equation 1. Uh, or I can multiply it by uh, 4 also. Okay, minus 4i1 plus 4i2 minus 8. Okay, let it be like this. Equation 1. Now I will apply KVL to the mesh. Uh, BCDB is over. ABDA. Apply KVL to ABDA. Okay. Applying KVL to ABDA. Start from A. A to B, we have 2 ohm band. Current flowing to 2 ohm is I2. 2 I2. That is in our direction. And A to B, B to D. B to D is 10 Ig. And D to A is minus 8 I1. Minus 8 I1 equal to 0. There is no battery uh, in that ABDA path. So, 2 I2 minus, uh, plus 10 Ig minus 8 I1 is equal to 0. So, finally, it is minus 8 I1 um, plus 2 I2 plus 10 Ig is equal to 0. Okay. Equation 2. Okay. Then, I will apply KVL to the mesh. Uh, next, I will choose. Um, okay. Uh, uh, A, D, C, uh, I'll, I'll name this as E. Uh, I think battery is one 5 volt. This 5 volt battery. Including 5 volt battery, I will choose the um, A, D, C, E, A. That loop. A, D, C, E, A. So, applying KVL to the loop A, D, C, E, A. Starting from A, 8, I1. 8, I1. And uh, 4 plus 4 into I1 plus Ig because I1 plus Ig flows in the same direction as I move from D to C. And the resistor through which it flows is 4. 4 into I1 plus Ig. And I1 plus I2 flows through uh, no resistor. But when I move from C to uh, D to C and along this path, I get minus of the battery, so minus 5 is equal to 0. 8 I1 plus 4 I1, that is 12 I1. 12 I1 uh, Yeah, right. 12 I1 uh, and then uh, no I2 in this path. I1 plus Ig. 12 I1, there is no I2, so plus 0, plus 4 Ig, minus, uh, one, one minute, so 12, uh, 8 I1, plus 4 I1, 12 I1, plus 4 Ig, equal to 
now let me write the, all the equations in a row. Uh, I will take this equation as 3. Let me write all the equations together. 1 is uh, minus 4i1 plus 4i2 minus 18ig equal to 0. That is equation 1. And the next one is uh, second equation minus 8i1 plus 2i2 plus 10ig equal to 0. And then equation 3, 12i1, 12i1 uh, plus 0 plus 4ig equal to 0. Ah, sorry, equal to 5. That is equation 3, yes. Now, we will use it, uh, use the Kramer's rule to solve this. Uh, so, we will find out delta i first. So, delta i is equal to minus 4, 4, minus 18. And uh, minus 8, 2, 10. 12, 0, 4. So we will find out what is the determinant. We will write the um, uh, corresponding constants related to I1 here, minus 4, 8, 12. The um, uh, corresponding uh, values of uh, I2, 4, 2, 0, minus 18, 10, 4, yes. Now what is delta I? Delta I is equal to minus 4 into, so here you have to cross multiply, 8 minus 0. Then minus 4 into uh, minus 32 minus 120. Minus 4 into 8 minus 0. Minus 4 into minus 32 minus 120. Minus 18 into 0 minus 24. 24. So delta i is equal to minus 32 and this will be minus, ah, that will be plus. I'll use the calculator. Uh, 32, 120. 32 plus 120 into 4, 608 plus again 18 into 24, 18 into 24, 432. So 432, 432 plus 608 minus 32, 1008, delta is 1008, okay. Um, so we will find out what is delta Ig, delta Ig, delta Ig is equal to Minus 4, minus 8, 12, 4, 2, 0. So, we will retain I1 and I2 values. Replace Ig from 0, 0, 5. So, that implies delta Ig is equal to uh, minus 4 into uh, 10 minus 0 into this minus 4 4 into minus 4 into again uh, minus 40 minus 0 minus 40 minus 0 plus 0 okay minus 4 into 10 minus 0 4 into uh, minus 40 minus 0 yes 
So delta IG is equal to minus 40 um, plus 160. That is equal to 120. Now, how to find out IG? IG is equal to, current IG is equal to delta IG divided by delta I. That is equal to delta IG is 1008. Delta, sorry, delta IG is 120. 120 divided by 1008. That is equal to 120 divided by 1008. That comes to 0.119 amperes. 0 0.119 amperes. That is IG. Okay. So this means uh, you can write the three equations and you can solve one by one, taking two equations at a time. That is also okay. Just finally find out IG or this may be the easier method. Okay. Thank you.